Hello Scratchers! Welcome back to Easy Codes for Kids. Okay, this is lesson number two, where bananas meet apple. And bananas is, is going to say something to apple using our voices. So we're going to record our own voices and we're going to say, Hey, what's up Apple? It's bananas. Woohoo! It's so great to be a bunch of bananas. Or maybe you could tell a joke or sing a song. Or maybe you could, I don't know, maybe think of your own script for this. Okay, this is coding. Isn't it fun? Isn't it easy? We got this. Come on, let's go. All right, so the very first thing that we want to do is we want to X out our Sprite Cat. So that's this little guy right here. So bye-bye. Okay, the next thing that we want to do is we want to go down here in the right-hand corner of our screen. And this is where we choose a Sprite. So if I just hover on this little kitty icon right here, it, it um, changes to the color green. And then it says choose a Sprite. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And I want to choose my bananas and I want to choose my apple. Okay, so first I click on bananas. And there's my Sprite bananas right there. Then I do the same steps. So I hover upon choose a Sprite, I click it, and then I choose my apple. So there is my bananas, and there are there is my apple. So I'm gonna move, if I want to, they're, they're sort of like bunched together. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on my bananas and I am just gonna hold him, hold my uh, mouse down and drag him over a little bit so they each have a nice distance between them. Okay, so I just um, went ahead and selected and then I can move this anywhere I want, but I just want it so they're sort of next to each other but not right on top of each other. Okay, so the next thing that I wanna do is for my bananas, this is where my code window is right here in the middle. And I am going to um, go ahead and choose my yellow events code. And when green flag is clicked, that will be my kickoff and that will start all the fun. So when green flag is clicked, I'm gonna pick my pink sound and I am going to come over here and put play sound bite until done. But I don't want to play the bite sound. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this little um, downward arrow and instead of bite, I'm gonna go ahead and click record. Now, I am going to record bananas saying, go bananas, go, go bananas to my apple. Now I do this by first hitting my red record button, okay? So let's be real quiet and then I'm gonna do it. Okay, ready? Everybody shh. Go, bananas, go, go, bananas. Awesome, okay. Let's see what it sounds like. Go, bananas, go, go, bananas. Okay, I like that, all right. So, I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. Awesome. And instead of it be the sound being called recording one, I am going to uh, make the sound name go bananas. Okay. All right, now let's go ahead and go back into my code. So I go into my code tab and now I wanna go ahead and instead of play sound bite until done, I wanna select play go bananas until done. Now let's go ahead and test this out, shall we? Go bananas, go, go bananas. Okay, cool. Um, so that is my bananas saying, go bananas, go, go bananas. Let's go ahead and do something similar for our apple. So let's click on our apple sprite. I can click here or I can click there. And then I want to go in here. I'm in my code 
And the first thing that I need to do is tell, um, is to create a kickoff event. So I am gonna go ahead and pull over my when green flag is clicked. The next thing that I wanna do is, I wanna go ahead and create a cool sound for my apple. So I go into sound. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull, drag under when green flag is clicked. Play sound chomp until done. Now, I don't, you know where I'm going with this. I don't want the chomp sound, right? I want my own voice. So I'm gonna do record. And then I'm not recording anything until I hit my red record button. So I can tell everybody around me, shh, I'm gonna record. So everybody has to be really quiet so I can record this, okay? Now, what I'm gonna say is yum, yum, yum. I love apples. Okay, so I'm gonna hit my red record button. Shh. Yum, yum, yum. I love apples. All right, let's see what it, it sounds like. Yum, yum, yum. I love apples. Awesome. There's a little slight delay there, but it'll probably be fine. So let's hit save. So here we have my recording, yum, 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 I love apples. Let's go ahead and put, instead of the sound being recording one, let's put apples here. Okay, good. Now let's go back to our code and add it. Play sound apples until done. Awesome. Okay, the only thing that I'm thinking is, and you probably have already caught on to this, is that if I press the green flag, the bananas recording and the apples recording are going to talk at the same time, and I don't want that. So what I want to do is, let's put a little weight in there. So I go into my orange control. And I'm going to say, when green flag is clicked, wait four seconds and then play my apples recording. What do you think? Do you think that's going to be cool? All right, let's go ahead and see what happens. Fingers crossed our timing is good. Go bananas. Go, go bananas. Yum, yum, yum. I love apples. Wow, they're almost back to back. That was almost perfect. Okay, awesome. Now, this is the end of lesson number two for us. What fun sentence, song, poem, joke can you do and then record your apple or your bananas or whatever sprite you're using to say your phrase? right? What can you think of? I mean, there's just about an endless uh, amount of materials that you can use. Name your favorite books or name your favorite uh, breed of dog or who is better, a cat or a dog. Anything that you can think of that's fun, that is something that you want to say, you can say it with code. Ah! Join me for the next lesson.